All right, YouTubers. Today I'll be bringing you a 2016 Dodge Ram 1500 with the Eco Diesel. And this one is actually a Bighorn Edition in Agricultural Red. And it has a few extra amenities than the standard does. But uh, I brought us a cheat sheet today. So I'll be going over it in as much detail as I can. And here we go. All right, starting off with the back. This is a four wheel drive model. And with it having the Eco Boost, it comes stock with dual exhaust. Uh, these little round points right here, those are actually proximity sensors. You got them on the front and the back of this model. Also with this one, you get a 9,200 pound towing capacity. Comes with the tow hitch and your different pointed uh, braking and lighting hookups. It has a 1,540 pound payload capacity. Comes factory with a backup camera and a locking tailgate tailgate opens really easy on this model and this one you can actually opt for a spray in bed liner but this one does not have it uh, they do have cargo lights that come in you can activate them from within the cab they have those on both sides as well as tie downs integrated into the front and rear of the bed I believe this one is a shorter bed it's a uh, five foot four inches I think the bigger ones substantially longer uh, all right moving on to the interior you will see this package has an aluminum trim and door handle everything's automatic on this one um, you've got a nice decent sized pocket here a little bit of kind of like a shelf and then down here you have another deep pocket and these are your cup holders they're made to hold either a bottle or a, a glass like a glass bottle or a, a plastic bottle but it's made out of like a rubber I kind of like that that means it'll grab it really good and not let go in the Bighorn Edition, you actually have two glove compartments. One here, it's nice and deep. And then just below it, down here, you have one as well. The armrest in this model is huge, but I'll get to that in a minute. All right, going to the rear door. Not a whole lot's different. Doesn't have the uh, cup holders located in it like the front does, but that would be because there's two right there. And if you pull the center out, you have two right there. So you have a place to put your beer. Now, if you're not having anybody back here, you can pull that seat up out of the way and this I'm trying to do this one handed but you can fold these little things up right here and they've got a bunch of stuff in here like floor mats and whatnot but this will actually fold flat and you can put boxes and other things that you wouldn't want back in the back of the bed which is a nice little addition another thing is you can fold this back and you have all this extra stowage and another little option that they have that isn't really offered in other brands of trucks is a 60-40 split seat in the rear. The other seat will actually fold up and has additional storage underneath it as well. Um, one of my favorite little details they added into this truck, move my little cheat sheet out of the way, is this. It's a nice little storage compartment in the floor. And I think it's a good way of... Uh, utilizing wasted space 
a lot of what I see people using these for is like a cooler keep your drinks cold on a job site or something but this actually comes out for cleaning and it's it's a nice little addition in my opinion all right now that I'm in the driver's seat uh, I'll go over some of the little options they have here I'll start over here on the door uh, it still has the aluminum the little side molding here on the door it's really nice it's a nice touch they do have a vinyl door panels the dash is made of hard plastic over here you've got your automatic headlights off uh, parking lights and headlights and that is actually your cargo light for the bed these I mean you have your your basic your mirror adjustments this button actually automatically folds in your mirrors that way you don't have to worry about some kid that don't know how to drive knocking your mirror off and you also have window lockout if you have kids and such but up here you have your your basic gauge line up over here you've got your diesel gauge uh, that is actually your def gauge which is your diesel exhaust fluid um, one point I would like to add is the people have reported the def fluid can actually last up to 10,000 miles depending on how you drive which is kind of impressive compared to other vehicles um, this truck has been touted for being able to achieve between 29 and 30 miles to, ga to the gallon in a full-size four-wheel drive truck, which is impressive to say the least. Uh, another thing that's worth mentioning, it doesn't have it on this model, but down there where the tilt steering knob is, up here you can actually get an option for adjustable pedals. So if you're a shorter person or maybe you want the option added in for your wife or girlfriend or whatever, that'd be a nice little option to get. And coming over here to the center, Dodge spared no amount of money giving you little places to cram your stuff. Up here, you got a little cubby with the Ram logo on it. About four inches deep, three inches deep. Then over here, you also have an actual power inverter outlet, which is really nice to have nowadays. And this pocket is actually, I can fit almost my whole hand in there, which is, that's a big hole. Uh, down here, this is actually where your gear shift is. Now, this truck actually comes with an eight speed automatic and a little bit of driving I've done in it has had absolutely no problem keeping down into the best range of power and I really really enjoyed this it's quiet shifts smooth shifts solid I really have absolutely no complaints on that area now down here you have your lockouts for the four-wheel drive which we of course have it in two-wheel drive right now but you have four low four-wheel drive lock four-wheel drive auto which means it will automatically sense whenever the truck needs to go into four-wheel drive now the neutral button you can press if you want to pull it behind a camper or an RV or something of that sort and it will actually completely disengage all the axles up here let me check my cheat sheet real quick uh, it is a 8.4 inch touch capacitive screen and uh, from what I've heard, their onboard system's easier to operate than Ford or Chevy, um, which I've got it on the Aussie on. Now, this one comes factory with XM and FM. Uh, it's got a media option, which I don't have a, anything connected, but uh, you can do auxiliary, Bluetooth, SD card, which I'll get to where those are located here in a minute. Uh, you can actually control different things within this little heads-up display. 
Uh, you have a heated wheel, heated seats. Um, you can actually dim the mirrors automatically. Passenger can dim or heat their seats. You can actually turn on the backup camera from this point. And as you turn the wheel, that will actually tell you your expected trajectory if you're going to be backing up. Let's see. You go over to apps. They have all different kinds of apps you can get for this truck. And they're all easy to access. I mean, they even have slacker radio. Climate control. You can adjust everything here. They also have little dummy knobs down here if you want to do it the old-fashioned way. Uh, navigation on this truck is very, very, very simple. I mean, very simple. And then, of course, you can sync your phone. No problems there. Down here you actually have your traction control, the heated, more manual options that were available up there. And that's a very important button. If you ever want to tow something or haul something that's really heavy, make sure you know where that button's at. Uh, right here there's a large cubby hole and room for two drinks as well as room for two drinks over there. Uh, you've got another big cubby hole down here. Uh, this is a little addition that I like. It's actually got a point, a place where you can actually set your phone. And I have a large Samsung Galaxy and it, I mean, it holds it nice and solid. It doesn't push buttons, doesn't mess with the screen. It's a great place to put your phone. Uh, this is the massive armrest that I mentioned earlier, and it's actually got two different levels within it. If we open up the first level, you've got a place for your change, big area right here for paperwork and whatnot. Um, it's got these little cutouts right here that you can put um, cords, like a charging port or something like that. That way you can run it over to your phone. Oop, let me get my hand out of the way. Back here, this is where you put your SD card. It's got a USB port here, an auxiliary port, and an additional USB port right there. It's really, really nice to have. Now we'll set this back down, and we'll pick up the big one. And you've got this gigantic storage area. I mean, you could put two bags of groceries in that big hole. Um, worth noting on the Laramie, right in this area, you get a, uh, a CD player, which they're kind of phasing those out, so I don't know why you would want a CD player. But anyway, that's an option you can get. All right, looking up here, if I can get my phone to adjust for the difference in the lighting. Right there, on the roof, you have, let's see if I can find it through my phone, okay. You have this button, okay? That button controls the back glass. I like that option. All right, getting out of the vehicle. This Bighorn actually comes factory with 20 inch chrome clad aluminum wheels. Uh, let's go over to where the business happens. Now, on the hood, this is the 3.0 Eco Diesel, which is a 3 liter V6 twin turbo. It puts out 240 horsepower, 420 foot-pounds of torque. And with the eight-speed transmission, it has absolutely no problem going down the highway at all. Amazing acceleration. 
As a matter of fact, I actually had to watch how hard I put the, pushed the gas because I barked the tires once or twice. Um, a lot of that power is in fact due to the multi-jet 2 technology that's in the engine. Uh, it helps reduce noise, improves low speed throttle response. Trust me, it improves the throttle response. <laughs> Uh, reduces fuel consumption. This truck gets on average between 29 and 30 miles to the gallon and it is a full-size truck. That is ridiculous. I've never driven a truck that got that good a gas mileage and I drive a tiny little Mazda. Let's see. Another thing worth noting is this truck is capable of hauling 9,210 pounds and it has a payload of 1,540 pounds. That's almost a ton in the bed. Now, this truck has actually made Motor Trends Truck of the Year two years in a row, which isn't bad. That's a good accolade to earn. Uh, I don't remember the price on this truck. I'll walk over to the sticker here in a second and I'll figure it out. But I do know that uh, a lot of the rates and the dealer incentives that you can get for the Bighorn right now can actually cut the price down almost $10,000. Uh, let's see, I know you probably can't see it through my phone, but this truck as optioned is almost $53,000 uh, that comes in at about 52800 as it sits but if you knock down ten grand off of that with the added incentives uh, you'll be looking at about forty two, which is a hefty cut in price and if you're interested in this truck in particular it's available at Russell Barnett Dodge Chrysler Jeep in Winchester, Tennessee. And I'll actually have a link to the, at the bottom of my video in the details section. But uh, this is my review. I'll shut up now and let you look at the look at the truck. And if you like what you saw here, please hit that like and subscribe button at the bottom. Thank you.